G'day, how's it going, Rail fans? How are we all doing today? Thank you very much for joining me. My name is The Godfather, and welcome to our third live stream of Train Sim World 3 for this 30th of January 2023. It's almost February. What, can you believe it? A month has gone already. Man, that just went quick, didn't it? Um, yeah, that was really quick. Uh, so, yeah, welcome aboard. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I am the Australian Don, the Godfather. I am your experienced train sim world driver, and welcome to our gameplay here as we continue uh, the Festival of Rail Week 2023. Uh, and uh, we are doing uh, gameplay of Train Sim World 3 here. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pumping them out, out of the out of the park today. We went midday, and then we went up, uh, and then we've gone four here now. So uh, this is our second Scott Rail uh, uh, live stream for today. Uh, I wasn't planning on this one actually today, but, uh, I actually didn't realize, um, that, uh, this one dropped, uh, over the last 12 hours, a little bit less than that. Uh, cause yeah, I did check before I went to bed actually, and this wasn't actually up there. So it's, it has been dropped probably safely the last eight hours. Uh, we have Rob S, ladies and gentlemen, which has done... Uh, many other sound mods in the past and stuff, and um, sort of, I don't know, uh, some of these stuff's been alright, some of the stuff's not. Uh, but uh, yeah, I am uh, checking out here for the first time uh, Rob S's, and the very first sound mod for the Class 385 for the new Scott Rail Express uh, Ada Brother Glasgow route. Uh, so this is uh, going to be a special one, and uh, we've uh, we're not going to we like to thank uh, Rob S for uh, for doing this sound mod, uh, and uh, yeah, we're going to check it out now and uh, see how it is. Um, all right, so uh, welcome aboard, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me, and we hope you enjoy this ten sixteen service, and. Um, here we go. Uh, no spamming, please. Alright, uh, I'm going really good. Here we go now with the 1R39. By the way, folks, I'm going to be muting, um, uh, muting the mic on this one because we're going to check, check it out. So this is sound modded. So Horns are exactly the same and everything. As far as I know, it's going to be sound modded. Hopefully it does work. Unlock those doors. Welcome to the class three eight five service to Glasgow Queen Street. Okay, all services are on. Welcome to the Scott Rail service to Glasgow Queen Street. Okay, let's put the lights on dim. Alright, so this is going to be quite interesting to see if this sound mod has um, changed anything. OK, 
Okay, we still don't have clearance at the moment. We're waiting for clearance. Alright, so the description of this sound mod is that it uh, lowers the sound of the train. Um, let me just get it up here actually. It's for the train sim world community. Let's get it up here. I've just got it over the live chat at the moment on the other screen. So the live, I can't see the live chat at the moment. So it is in the sounds area and uh, it's in the Edinburgh Glasgow uh, Class 385 running sound. Uh, this mod removes the looping running sound and lowers the volume. So that's what it's classified as. And it was updated, it was uploaded in eight hours ago. So yeah, that's what I thought it was. It was definitely, you know, not there when I went to bed and that was around about 4 a.m. It was definitely uh, been in the last 10 hour bracket, eight hours, eight hours according to this. So it is compatible for Train Sim World 3. It is a sound mod, obviously, and it's only for PC. Uh, and I'm not sure if it works for Epic, but I know it works for the PC Steam version. Doesn't work on console. There's no mods for, for console, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't think there is. I'll safe to say there isn't. Five year veteran of TSW plus five and a half years. I should, we're going close to six, actually. Uh, so, yeah. OG. Rob S. has done this one. Uh, so, uh, he's done a few things before. He's done the uh, mini sound mod for uh, 150. He's done a press uh, livery. He's done a few other things as well. He's done weathered rusty uh, rail add-on, which is recent as well. All right, we have a W, so we are good to go. <laughs> Godfather, slow down, slow down, Mr. Godfather. Just hit that NOS button a bit too much. <laughs> Get in there, that's it. The next station is Haymarket. to the class 385 service to Glasgow Queen Street. Give you guys an angle for the castle up the top there. There we go, look at that. Beautiful. Edinburgh Castle. this effect just here it's really annoying and the only thing I can think of is you can clearly see like a like a green screen around here can you look at the difference between the color of the the track compared to what it is there you can see the differences yeah and that's that's what's causing it it's very annoying Another thing here as well, look at the line on the edge here. That's, that's an issue as well. That's a clear knot put together by glue and it's got a crack in it like it's had an earthquake on the side there. We 
will soon arrive at Haymarket. Brakes! It's on the platform, that's the main thing. Extra can get on and off trains. I'm not really noticing too much difference with the sounds at the moment, actually. Uh, probably judge it more when we start going into the higher speeds because that's where it's been just absolutely ridiculously loud. It's just been way too loud. So if it doesn't do it, then I'll know for a fact that uh, at the moment I don't really notice the difference at all. We have got London Midland coming out with something. I'm not sure if they're going to include the sounds or anything, but we are waiting for that. It'll take a bit longer for that to be released because there's a whole heap of enhancements and stuff. The next station is Linlithgow. There's billboards, there's uh, all kinds of things for that. Yeah, they definitely have approved the sounds now. You can actually hear the announcements actually more clearly now on the higher sounds. So uh, it's definitely that balance now, like I like I was wanting. So that yeah, that's quite good. I like that. Not too much of a difference, but it is uh, it is slightly changed. Uh, I, I can say that it probably needs a little bit more improvement. So uh, yeah, I could get on there and say something, but you, they always have a bitch if you start saying stuff. I'll, I'll leave it up to the others to judge it. Sound mod sort of the, what I can say the sound mod has done is actually uh, up the level of volume, uh, drop the volume of the sound of the train, and up and now is up like making the announcement system shine more where you can hear it more clearly now when the when the train's going fast because it, man it, it's just awfully loud and it's not letting the uh, announcement system uh, shine. It, like it's, you know, it's supposed to be the shiny new toy in the train sim world area. You, you, you know, it's never happened in the history of train sim world over the five plus years, you know, since the beginning. So, uh, when it was Heavy Hall, obviously, with Sam Patch Grey. Uh, so, you know, shiny new toy, actually done by River Games, not done by Dovetail Games. Oh, yeah, that's how dumb they are, folks. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, don't worry. They're, you can see the expressions on their face when the announcement system. They were like, you can see how excited they were, but you can see you can see how steaming they were in the background of them in their heads. You can see clearly that they were like, oh, we we dropped the ball on this one. We, should, you know, myself personally, I've been wanting announcements in the game for a very long time. It's been one of my wants. My other ones are West Coast Mainline, East Coast Mainline. <laughs> a bullet train from Japan. Some Midlands uh, Railway stuff. I'm hoping just trains when they're, cause, when, cause they're on, on board for cheap train to well now. I'm hoping that they'll do Midlands. I'm hoping they won't scatter it like they have on Train Simulator though. I want them to do bigger, you know. I'm hoping they'll do Hope Valley first up actually. I'm hoping Hope Valley will be the first part they'll do. It's a lovely route for TS TSW. I actually like to see the U-Bahn Hamburg actually for TSW as well. And Just Trains did that one recently on Train Simulator. It's such a great route. Such a great route. Unfortunately, there's um, one train you can only drive. One of the other uh, variant is a AI, which I'm hoping that they'll eventually make as a train to drive. But it's good, don't worry about that. Let's do a 360 over the bridge. Don't forget I am involved in this week's screenshot competition, folks. Vote for me, the Aussie Don, at the week four screenshot competition for the Fiend Bridge this week. I've got two beautiful bridge Fiend, uh, Fiend photos for the brand new 385 with this brand new Glasgow to Edinburgh route. And uh, currently the leader has about 17, 18 votes, so I really need to get more than that. I need to get at least 20 likes, folks, because the one with the most likes always wins the vote. So do you want to see my photo from the Aussie Don and Australia Worldwide Gaming on the loading screen for TSW for the next week? Please do. to be on the edge of a thunderstorm actually we've got a big thunderstorm building up over the back of us but it's more on the south side so it's more on this side of me <laughs> well, yesterday was on this side when I was uh, watching the Royal Rumble was starting to build up pretty bad full on actually on the north side and I thought oh great now I'm going to be able to watch the, the main event because it was on the women's Royal Rumble when it was starting to build up and I'm like oh uh, <laughs> I hope this doesn't happen because yeah I was looking forward to that that uh, Kevin Owens uh, match that was I knew it was, was going to be something big man it wasn't something big man it was one of the biggest moments in WWE ever I swear it was yeah that was full on 
one of the craziest things I've seen in a very long time. Except for a kind of the other day having a go at the... <laughs> you see, that one at Wrestle Kingdom, the second night of Wrestle Kingdom, the a kind of had a go at that guy, but he actually kicked him for real, and he got me... <laughs> he started kicking, he started bashing him for real. <laughs> that was his cryptid, trust me, that was for long. Anyway, uh, Lynn Lithgow was the next stop, and uh, just to let you guys know, Choo Choo Tuesdays is on tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, we'll be on the air with it this week. Fortunately, we could, uh, had to uh, repost last week's episode for this week uh, due to big mega mega thunderstorm wiping us out on our Tuesday night action last week. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it wiped out our train sim world action, but it actually didn't wipe out our eight American truck sim live stream. That went ahead. Just. <laughs> only, just only just. See how dark the room is, you know, like compared to what it was before. It's starting to get more dark now. So once again, folks, uh, another reminder: it is the Festival of Rail Week, and uh, there will be a sale, I do believe, on because there always is when there's a Festival of Rail every year. Uh, so the 2023 Festival of Rail is this week. Uh, a lot of ambassadors and uh, Dovetail will be doing live streaming. Uh, on Railfair TV through their Train Sim World and Train Simulator pages as well as on uh, they'll be streaming on PC Steam as well and there is a big summit coming up uh, this uh, Sunday which will be early hours Monday morning here in Australia and they're going to showcase uh, the next couple months worth of content for TSW as well as a couple sneaky announcements <laughs> what could they be <laughs> that'll be interesting roadmap is on the not this Thursday the following Thursday not this Thursday the following Thursday which is early hours Friday morning fast here in Australia and of course we'll bring you the roadmap with train sim world news here next week here in Australia worldwide gaming as I'll do a live stream of that and uh, obviously I'll edit it when we uh, put it on the replay Brakes, Godfather, brakes! Oh man, I'm... Oh man... I done a big boo-boo. <laughs> it's on the platform, but unfortunately it's too far down. <laughs> this is Linda School. <laughs> It's on there. Still, it's, still works. <laughs> it's like that guy that drops a phone every five minutes. No, don't worry. It still works. It's all good. It's on the platform. It's, it's all good. It still works. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing more of just the sunny days on this route because I've noted uh, 
ever since he put the cloud, uh, biometric cloud, uh, I've got biometric cloud system on, but as soon as you play the game in like fog, rain, or uh, clouds, or thunderstorm, it just um, drops the frames. Not so much inside the cab, but as soon as you go outside the cab, it drops it by half from the 64 frames that I, that I work with straight down to 30 frames. So those containers there should have uh, real companies on, marked onto those. I don't see why they wouldn't be, knowing the history of uh, London Midland and the crew doing their enhancements. we'll put all the details up on the channel uh, when we stream for what is involved in the enhancement pack just like we've done for Birmingham Cross City so yeah do do not harp on them they'll they'll get it done when it's done folks they don't like to release rush things they'll get it done you know when they're happy and satisfied and you know they'll release it and then you know they'll get the feedback off the community there's things that you know don't look right or you know might give them some suggestions and local knowledge of course comes in handy for that so if you are local on the area yeah there is a thread on the forums about the enhancement and you can talk to the London Midland uh, and the crew there about uh, what you think uh, could be approved on the route Obviously, there's certain things they can't approve. Obviously, you know, they only can do what they can do. But trust me, some of the work they do is, uh, I, have to, I have to dare say, way better than TSW, Dovetail, or River Games. <laughs> uh, I'm not being biased, but yeah, it's just, we know, we know, we, we know what they're We'll soon arrive at Holmond. So yeah, I can definitely notice the difference uh, of the announcement system now. Actually, um, clearly you can hear it over the train, and uh, that's the difference. I can I can say it's balanced. It's balanced. That's what I can say. Maybe just a slight less sound with the train, just a tiny bit. I, I, I don't. Just a a little bit, not much. Salt, one of those uh, conga line, you know, with the, the shakers. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Someone grating, grating the cheese or something. <laughs> it sounds like someone grating the cheese. Uh, we should get the real map as well. That'll be one of the enhancements. Uh, they'll do the ticket machines, obviously, to probably put Scott Ray and all that on there. Uh, all these ones will get all real, uh, real signage, uh, like all these ones here. They'll get real signage. There'll be a, probably a little info button on, uh, sign on there. Uh, <laughs> What else would they do? Uh, some of the, sorry, some of the billboards are not uh, working. It's uh, they don't have one on this station, but 
Yes. Uh, that van just there will have the National Rail or maybe a Scott Rail thing put on there. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be some of the highlights of the enhancements at this particular station. And I'm only getting off uh, knowledge of the crew the crew that does these enhancements because, you know, they've done South East and they've done a few others. They do some incredible work, so... East Coast Way, I think they're... I'm pretty sure East Coast Way's been done as well. I actually think a few people might even actually reply to this guy and say I don't see too much I don't see much difference with this sound mod. And I'll probably have to agree with it. Um, like I said, just a little slight tone down, I think a little bit more would be satisfactory. Falkirk High. Welcome to the Class 385 service to Glasgow Queen Street. So you probably would agree with me, rail fans, about the the you know what I've talked about with this uh, with the sound mod. 
you know, there's not too much difference, maybe just a little slight different uh, lower. It's got more of a bounce now with uh, the announcements now. Clearly, uh, you can hear them more, uh, and it's not uh, the train sound's not overpowering over the top of it, uh, even on the high speeds. More so in the tunnels, it's probably sort of overpowering still, but obviously that's the sound of the tunnel. That's uh, probably a little bit, uh, if you can actually tweak that a bit, that might be a little bit more, more better. But yeah, I can definitely see the differences, uh, but just a little bit, not, not overpowering too much um, lower than what the norm was. By the way, our live stream chat has been disabled now, folks. I'm just going to pause it for a second. It's getting dark in this room. An idiot. Apologise for that, folks. It's actually pouring down rain in that side. Disable the camera and uh, let you guys enjoy. There we go. There we go. And uh, I'm going to mute the mic for a bit and uh, let you kick back and enjoy. We've got Croy still to come. Uh, we have uh, and then Glasgow Queen Street. 1R39 out of Waverley, the Glasgow Queen Street. We're doing the full length, 77 kilometres of the brand new Scott Ray Ospreys. We are showcasing the brand new sound mod by Rob S. It's now available for download at the Train Sim World community for the PC version of Train Sim World 3 if you own this route. And uh, all you have to do is just put it into your, if you're on Steam, you just go to Steam, Steam Mats, Common, uh, Train Sim World 3, and then just put it into your uh, contents area where the DLCs are, uh, DLCs are and then uh, sh should work. Love your uncle. Too easy. Talk to you guys soon.
we'll soon arrive at Troy. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform as you leave the train. This is Troy. The next station is Glasgow Queen Street. Okay, folks, I am involved in this week's screenshot competition uh, for week four of January at the Dovetail Forums, and you can vote for the Aussie Don by giving it a big like. And uh, do note that uh, the winner currently uh, always is the one with the most likes. So let's get more than 17, folks, because currently the leader is on 17. Uh, I think it was 18 if I last checked. So we need at least 20 plus likes on the photo that has currently got the most likes. So go and like it, folks. Dovetail Forums. Vote for the Aussie Don of Australia for my gaming and it will become the loading screen for the week and it is on this new route by the way. It's on the new Edinburgh Telescope. So let's get that instead of uh, some boring German crap.
Glasgow Queen Street. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. All passengers must be in possession of a valid ticket. For your safety and comfort, smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. The next station is Glasgow Queen Street. soon arrive at Glasgow Queen Street. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Do join us again later on today, folks, for our main event of American Truck Simulator with Monday Night Lighting the Highways. We're live from 9 p.m. in Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne, Hobart, 8 p.m. Queensland, 8.30 p.m. in South Australia, 7.30 p.m. in Northern Territory, 6 p.m. in Western Australia, 11 p.m. in New Zealand, 10 a.m. UK, 11 a.m. Germany, 5 a.m. Boston, 3 a.m. Utah and Arizona, USA, and 2 a.m. Los Angeles. And after that, we'll have some more train sim world action later on tonight as we head to the Brighton Mainline London Commuter for some gameplay of the London Commuter. Do join us for that one. Do note that all the live streams that are coming up later on today are subject to change. Thank you very much for coming along and enjoying our full length run here on the brand new Glasgow Edinburgh and showcasing the brand new first ever sound mod for the 385. We'd like to thank Rob S for his work for this sound mod, appreciate it. Just a little couple little changes there as I've explained and uh, it will become even better. Just a little tiny bit of a tweak.
we'll soon arrive at Glasgow Queen Street. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform as you leave the train. One of the nicest stations in the game, folks. I have to say that this one's beautiful. Breaks. <laughs> yeah, imagine a few people smack into that because yeah, the breakage system is a little bit a uh, bit of a uh, change compared to the, uh, your average EMU. Definitely not a 377 or 375 or 465 or anything like that. It's a different system altogether. Well, that should be a gold medal. It shouldn't be a surprise on this one. I've gotten gold medals all over the place here at the moment and undefeated on them. So it should be another one coming up right here, which it is. And 11,820 is the final score from us here at Australia mm. Worldwide Gaming. And uh, yeah, there I am. Hello. Thank you very much for uh, that uh, joining us for this one. Uh, we showcase this time around the brand new 385 sound mod, which is the first sound mod for the uh, new train. And uh, it is now available at the Train Sim World Community uh, mods page. Check it out now. And you can uh, also download other great uh, uh, simulation uh, mods on there as well, including the new Sim Rail and uh, Run 8 and Open Rails and Train Sim Classic and Train Sim World uh, 1, 2 and 3. So thank you very much for watching. I am the Godfather. We'll see you again sometime soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye for now. Note that thumbs downs do not count. You are a dickhead.